So many of you might have heard of ChatGPT and how it's been used for all sorts of things. I thought I'd show you how it can be used for something relevant to the DBA program at Case Western. You know how I'm always asking you to write good abductive reasoning, provide some good causal logic? Well, whether or not you're able to, ChatGPT can. Check this out. I've asked it to provide one paragraph of abductive reasoning to explain why an increase in employee autonomy is likely to lead to an increase in job satisfaction. I tell it to use citations from the social sciences, including psychology literature, where appropriate. Try to use words like because and due to to imply causation. List citations as a bibliography after the paragraph. Let's see what it gives us. One possible explanation for why an increase in employee autonomy might lead to an increase in job satisfaction is because autonomy allows employees to feel more in control of their work and the decisions they make on the job. This sense of control can lead to greater feelings of confidence and ownership, which are both important psychological needs that have been linked to job satisfaction from that known reference. I do know that one. That is a correct reference. Additionally, autonomy can foster a sense of trust and respect between employees and the supervisors, as well as a sense of meaning and purpose in the work being done. There's another well-known citation. All of these factors can contribute to increased job satisfaction. And there are the citations right there. That's pretty good. If I were to ask it to try again, it would come up with something different, but still reasonable. Now that's pretty cool. Uh, you can pause it if you want to read that and see if it's consistent and see those citations. And I can ask it to do this for any set of variables. Let's try instead of autonomy and job satisfaction. Let's do workplace fairness. Workplace fairness and burnout. And in this case, it's going to be a decrease. So why would workplace fairness decrease burnout? Because fairness in the workplace has been shown to increase job satisfaction and reduce stress, it is likely that an increase in fairness will lead to a decrease in burnout. Burnout is often the result of excessive stress and lack of control over work tasks, both of which can be improved by fair work environment. Additionally, research has shown that perceptions of fairness are negatively correlated with burnout implying that as fairness increases, burnout decreases. Therefore, it is reasonable to, con to conclude that an increase in workplace fairness is likely to lead to a decrease in burnout. That is pretty good. So I've only tried this for direct effects. I haven't tried it for moderation or mediation or anything super complex. But you can see it's a good start. If you'd like to play with this, you can go to chat.openai.com chat. Create a free account, and you can use this as much as you want. Now, obviously, you do need to read over everything it's written and edit it to make it your own, but this is a good brainstorming tool and sanity check and a good way to find citations, which you also should double check. I was about to end the video there, but then I thought, why not try mediation and moderation? So I wrote out a mediation one. I asked for abductive reasoning to explain the following mediation hypothesis. The mediation hypothesis is that exploration mediates the positive relationship between curiosity and learning. So we are curious and so we explore and that makes us learn. Here's what they say. Because exploration is a key component of the learning process, citation, and curiosity drives individuals to seek out new information experiences, citations, it is likely that exploration mediates the positive relationship between curiosity and learning. In other words, curiosity prompts individuals to engage in exploratory behaviors, and this exploration leads to increased learning. This hypothesis is supported by research showing that individuals with higher levels of curiosity tend to be more exploratory in their behavior, and that exploration is positively related to learning outcomes. Thus, it is reasonable to conclude that exploration plays a critical role in the relationship between curiosity and learning. Citations. And here's one for moderation. So, I wanted training strengthens the positive relationship between autonomy and job satisfaction. Which, so, essentially, if you're trained, then autonomy has a positive effect on job satisfaction because you know what you're doing, whereas if you're not trained, less so. Here's what we get. Because training provides individuals with the skills and knowledge necessary to effectively perform their jobs, and autonomy is a key factor in job satisfaction, it is likely that training strengthens the positive relationship between autonomy and job satisfaction. In other words, training may enhance an individual's ability to make independent decisions and take control of their work, which in turn leads to increased job satisfaction. This hypothesis is supported by research showing that training is positively related, related to both autonomy and job satisfaction, and that autonomy is a strong predictor of job satisfaction. 
Thus, it is reasonable to conclude that training moderates the relationship between autonomy and job satisfaction such that the positive relationship is stronger when individuals have received training. That's just amazing. That is so cool. Have fun with that.